So in this video we're gonna go through some examples for acceleration. This is the ex ex acceleration examples part 2. And we have here like a suppose we started from this point and went went to this point and again we went this to this point and to this point and from this point we went to this point. So we're gonna find the distance along with the displacement for this example. So we're gonna uh, so in this here from this point to this point from from this to this direction we got two sixty and from this we got thirty and from this it's twenty and and again above it's north of it it's hundred. So we're gonna find so first if you find if you want to find the the distance he traveled this guy traveled is equal to we're gonna add all these numbers like two two sixty add thirty plus twenty plus a hundred so this would be two sixty um two sixteen hundred is 360, 360, 360, 360, uh, 4, I think it's 410. Yeah, this is the displaced distance this guy have traveled and now we're gonna find the displacement. So for this, for displacement, we're gonna see in which direction this guy have traveled. Like this is in a positive x direction, so this is the value, uh, it has a it has a positive value this is in y negative direction so it's gonna get negative and also this guy is uh, this this part is in the negative side of x so it's negative and this is also positive uh, because it's above y and north so first we're gonna conquer, uh, divide these things like uh, we from from this we got 260 minus uh, for 2x it's minus 20 it's equal to it's uh, 240 and, and the other thing it's 100 minus 30 and we got 70 the, the, we didn't mention the unit so we could just get 70 so this is our value and now we're gonna put this to and uh, in another shape like we get this uh, suppose this is the 240 and this is the 70 so this is the main uh, distance so we gonna find this part that how much this guy have traveled the distance so in this example we're gonna use the Pythagorean theory formula which is a uh, c equals a uh, c squared uh, a squared plus b squared so we're gonna go through like a this is so we're gonna put this value on in the formula like a, for the a squared we put 70 squared plus for the b 240 squared so for this to get rid of this square root we're gonna I multiply both sides to the radical something like this this will go like this and finally c equals so we're gonna now uh, have 70 squared plus 240 squared now we're gonna uh, f find the square root of them like for so if we ask, find the square root of 70 and 240 is something like a, like see a square root of 270 is a, is 4900 4900 and it's plus and from square root of 240 is a 5,057,600 under the radical 
so we're gonna uh, add this add these numbers so when we add it's something like a it's equal to 60 2500 so now we're gonna if we find the radical for this is something like uh, c is equal to 250 this is the final answer so the, the, the displacement is for this is 250 this is the displacement and this is the distance this guy traveled so here is another example like a Suppose uh, for acceleration, suppose this guy traveled uh, from this point to this point, 80 meters, and uh, back again traveled this point, 50 meters, and again to this direction, 40 meters. So to find this, we have to count, like so we have to see that which direction they are, so that. The distance this guy have traveled, we're gonna add them 80 plus 50 plus 40 meter 40. So the this guy doesn't have traveled nah, is uh 50. So 18, 40, 120, 120, 120. 120 and 150 is I think 120. Yeah, so this is the total distance this guy have traveled. So we're gonna find now the displacement. So we're gonna add these. So first, uh, this part will be added with this part. So when we do that, so it will become like this. 80 plus 40 is 120. And uh, this again, we'll put this like this. And this is 50. So now we're gonna find the this distance again we're going to use the Pythagorean theory formula c squared a squared plus b squared so c squared equals for the a we can put the 50 squared for the b for the b again we can put 120 squared and under square uh, yeah to divide this yeah like this and now we're gonna find the square root for 50 so the square root for 50 is a uh, 2 to f 2500 is 2500 and for the 120 is a 1400 and 14400 so now we're gonna add these numbers so when we add these numbers it's something like a 16900 now we're gonna find the radical for this. So C is equal to, it's uh, for 16,900, it's 130. And we have found that, find that this, mm -hmm. the distance have, the, the displacement for this, for this, this person is uh, 130. And that's it for this example. So in, so this is the last example for this video like uh, suppose we have a guy travels from this point to this point and from this point to this point and this is a like this is three and this is four the so the distance traveled is nearly so we when we add these two four and three is a seven and when you find the displacement, so we're gonna put that in the Pythagorean theory formula, c squared, a squared plus b squared. So we're gonna put them like for the a, we're gonna put three squared, for the b, four squared. Divide the both sides with the radical. And, and c is equal to, and three is, oh, we're gonna, 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16 so we're gonna add these numbers like c is equal to 16 add by 9 is uh, 25 and we're gonna find the radical of 25 is 5 and that's it for this video